you doing? My name is Jim Mead from Owego, New York. This is our 1915 9.5 by 10 Frick traction engine. It's the largest single cylinder traction engine that Frick Company from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania made. It was built in June of 1915, but it didn't sell until June of 1916, so it must have been built on speculation by the company. It sold new to uh, a man by the name of Van Diesen from um, Lucas, Kansas. It's rather unique that a, a Frick engine, a Pennsylvania engine, an Eastern engine, would find itself that far west. Uh, we believe he probably had either a sawmill or a, a custom thrashing operation because it's a, this engine is, while it will plow, and we do plow, we pull eight bottom plow with it. We did this afternoon. Um, it's 65 horsepower engine on the, on the belt really more adapted to a heavy belt work. So we, we think that he must have had that type of operation. It has a new boiler built by Oliver Boiler Works in Canada in 2004. It's an all welded, uh, all steel, federally inspected boiler. And uh, it, goes, it goes very well. Uh, we obtained it four years ago from a gentleman in Minnesota that was an avid steam enthusiast who built it and was never going to sell it. And uh, since then we've done some things to kind of uh, sort out the engine because he only had it operating a season and a half so there weren't since reboiling it so there wasn't a lot of time to sort things out but we've got things sorted out now and some new parts and different things and we were very pleased with his operation here at the pageant of steam in uh, august of 2015. night we were pulling and we got two-thirds of the way down the track and our clutch slipped which is not to be unexpected I think I think the clutch is more for pulling your thrashing machine around and not really so much for plowing or or pulling uh, pulling sleds but Frick did install these dogs on our engines and I'm about to move the dog from the flywheel over into the clutch arm which will make it essentially a direct connected engine